again, it's the end of the month, or the start of the month, so it's time for the wrap-up TBR thing that we always do. Yeah. So I read eight books in the month of April, which is pretty good for me. I usually don't get that many because I'm usually caught up with school and stuff, but I guess I just kind of got really into reading instead of my other extracurricular activities, so I spent a lot of time just, you know, bookworming it up by myself. It was cool. I read eight books. Four of those I read during the Dewey Readathon, which was um, a 24-hour readathon where you just kind of sit and read for 24 hours, and it's the same 24 hours everywhere around the world. So for me, my 24 hours were from 5 a.m. to 5 a.m., which was terrible because I woke up at 5 a.m. after finding out about the readathon three hours before that, and got on my Kindle to read something, woke up like four hours later with my face on my Kindle and I was like, oh, good job, Rosie. You did a good job staying awake. <laughs> but I did read about a thousand pages total, so that was actually pretty productive for me. The first book I read in the month of April was Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetys, and I always pronounce that last name wrong, so I apologize if I'm doing it again now. Now, this was the one of the books that you guys chose for my viewer's choice last month? ish, I think. I think it was like my spring breaks, spring break reads kind of thing. And so this is one of those choices. I loved it. I'm so glad you guys picked it because this book was fantastic. Probably my favorite book I read this month. Historical fiction about a girl from Lithuania who is dealing with the whole Soviet craziness happening during World War II. Amazing. The love story in this is just really touching and the family elements of this are just really, oh my god, I cried like twice at the end. It was terrible. Um, terrible in the best possible way, like in a Fault in Our Stars kind of way. It was really good. The second book I read I don't have with me because it was a library book, but it was The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefader, I think her last name is. I don't have it with me, so I don't know. This book was about like paranormal, fortune-telling me stuff, and it was really cool. So it's about this girl named Blue, and she's been told by all the psychics she's ever been to that she, if she kisses her true love, he'll die. So that's kind of like, whoa, crazy stuff. And so she goes out to, with her like aunt or something, to this spirit day thing. And by spirit day, I don't mean you dress up and wear pom-poms in your hair. I mean like the spirits are walking around a creepy church kind of thing. So anyway, she goes to that and she sees this guy there. And she's never seen anyone before um, at this like walk of the dead. And it's this guy who she meets later. He's this student at some kind of academy where they wear ravens on their vests, jackets, I don't know. They wear ravens on their chests. But anyway, um, she sees him and she's like, what's up with that? I've never seen a spirit before. And her aunt's like, well, if you see a spirit and you're not a fortune teller, that means that either he's your true love or you're going to kill him. So that's how that book goes. It's really exciting. The third book that I read during this month was Slide by Jill Hathaway. And this book was about a girl who has narcolepsy and whenever she has her like narcoleptic fits, she passes out and slides into someone else's brain, I guess. So she's like present in their brain but not in their body. I don't even know how to explain it because it's so cool. But yeah, so she ends up chasing a murderer around by investigating by going into different people's bodies. And that sounded really wrong. but. That's not what I meant. Anyway, um, it's really cool. So people, someone starts killing cheerleaders, and so she starts sliding into different people to try and figure out who did it. And it's really cool, and I very much enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of one of those fast, quick-paced reads. It wasn't something that I would read again, but it was definitely like worth reading. I liked it. The next book I read was Lola and the Boy Next Door, and yes, this is sort of the next companion book to Anna and the French Kiss. I enjoyed it just as much as Anna and the French Kiss. I thought it was fantastic. Lola was a great main character, and I loved her two gay dads. They were fantastic. And the, her love interest, Cricket Bell, was really cute, and I think I actually liked him better than Etienne St. Clair. Um, not like better than as a character, but if it were me and I was looking for my dude, I would choose Cricket even though Etienne has a nice, pretty accent. I would probably want to be friends with Etienne so I could hear him talk all the time. But Cricket was like all into the pinstripes and he was kind of like inventory and he, I don't know, he was kind of cool, I liked him. The next book I read was Starters by Alyssa Price and this book was kind of eh for me. Um, if anyone's seen the, movie, or the TV show Dollhouse, it's kind of like the book version of that. So it's about a world where basically only really young people and really old people exist and the really young people are really poor because they can't work yet because they're not old enough, so then they don't have any parents, so they're just kind of street rats. And the main character, Callie, ends up signing over her body to this body bank 
which will allow old people to use her body as like a vehicle like they put their brains in her body and she can walk around as someone else so they get to be young for like a couple of weeks and she gets a huge payoff in the end but anyway she ends up under uncovering this huge conspiracy thing and crazy stuff happens but um i didn't really enjoy it so much because I felt like not a lot really happened it was kind of a lot of like people being very confused about things that they shouldn't have been confused about because I understood them and I was just reading and I was like, dude, you should not be that confused. It's not that hard to understand. The premise was amazing. I thought that the ex execution, not so much. If the premise is something that sounds interesting to you, I would recommend actually just watching Dollhouse because that show is unbelievably fantastic. And this book was kind of disappointing. The next book I read was also part of the readathon, and I read it on my Kindle. So I got it from NetGalley and it was Peregrine Harker and the Black Plague by Luke Collins. And this book is kind of like Sherlock Holmesy meets YA, but like really watered down. And I was excited about this because the premise sounded really cool. It's set in 1908. I was like, this is kind of exciting. I like this idea. In execution, not so much. It was lacking in character development, lacking in plot development. It was all very action, 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 action. There was no time to breathe, but the action was all written in like telling rather than showing and that was just like hard to read through oh my god and there were so many like I'll, i don't even know i'll get into a review of it eventually the next book i read was unravel me by tahara mafi and i know you're probably thinking like wow it's been a long time didn't that book come out like months ago um yeah so i haven't bought those books yet because i kind of want them all in paperback and so i'm waiting until the third one comes out in paperback to buy them which is crazy i know because like that's gonna take freaking forever but I like the way they look better in paperback than they do in hardcover, which is weird, I know, but... Mm. So I ended up waiting for the library to get it. And when they finally did, I was really excited, and I sat down and read it in one sitting. I read it during the readathon, the whole book, and it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I thought as a sequel, it was a good sequel. Not a lot happened in this book. It was all very focused on the romance, which was not my favorite part. I was more interested in the crazy superpowers that everyone has and maybe some of the side characters like Kenji is the best thing that's ever happened to that series. Oh my god, I cannot get over how funny he is. I'm looking forward to book three. I'm super excited to find out what the title is. Uh, it may, by the time I post this video, it may have already been announced. I don't know. The last book that I read in April was Daughter Smoking Bum and this book is by Lainey Taylor who has pink hair. Bam. This book I've included in several videos um, and I I didn't really know what it was about. I was very confused. I was like, what is up with like the demons and angels and teeth? I don't understand. Now that I've read it, I understand it a much, much better. Still kind of confused about where this book is going to go. It's very, very weird. So, um, last month you guys voted on some books for me and one of them was Between Shades of Grey and the other one was Across the Universe and now I'm reading that right now and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. It's amazing. I love that there's more sci-fi and YA, so I'm really enjoying that book. Kind of want to go read it right now, but I'm supposed to do videos, so that's not going to happen. But I do want to talk about this whole viewer's choice thing, because I had this cool idea while I was making my TBR jar. So I had this idea while I was making the jar that instead of having it be my TBR jar, I'd have it be my viewer's choice jar. So instead of me choosing a bunch of books that I want to read that then you can vote on, I'm just going to put all of my books back here as fair game. So I put them all in here except for sequels of books that I haven't read yet so that, I mean, that's just dumb. I uh, put them all in here and I'm going to go ahead and draw them out of here and you guys get to vote on which one you want me to read. So I'm going to pick four books out of here and then I'm going to show you them and then you can pick which four you want or which one of the four you want me to read. Leave a comment down below and... Um, only vote for one because then it gets confusing and crazy. So let's get started. Um, I don't want to pick the ones on top because I feel like eh, it might be cheating. I don't know. Okay, hey, that's interesting. Um, the first book I drew out of here is 1984 by George Orwell. So let's take that off the shelf. This is probably one of my tinier books, which is weird, but the print is like minuscule, so that's gonna suck. Um, anyway, this book is about, I don't even know what this book is about. I've had this book forever and I know it's a classic. It's dystopian, it's about people, the government watching people and crazy stuff like that. I don't know. Okay. 
And the next book I drew is Fire by Kristen Cashore. This is the sequel to Graceling, um, although I'm pretty sure they're not actually really that related. I think they're just set in the same world, and then this one's about a totally different character. This book is about a girl named Fire who is like intensely beautiful and she can influence people with her looks and stuff. I don't really know. It sounds kind of awesome. Okay, third book. Bam! Yeah! The Elite by Kira Cass. I want to read this book so badly, so vote for it. That was not me influencing you to vote for it. Disclaimer. So this is The Elite. I just got this book in the mail like a couple of days ago, so I'm really excited about it. Um, and I have not actually built it into my TBR this month because I have a lot of books to review from NetGalley and everything. So if you vote for this, I'll read it and I'll be really happy. Yeah. So this book is the sequel to The Selection, and The Selection is about a girl named America Singer who is chosen for like this sort of bachelor type reality show in her dystopian world where whoever wins gets to marry the crown prince and becomes the queen. So crazy stuff is at stake here. And I don't want to tell you too much about this book if you haven't read the first one because I don't want to spoil things for you, but this book is the continuation of that. And I'm really excited about it because I've heard that there's more dystopian elements to it and also some more pretty dresses and princessy things, but mostly the dystopian thing. I love this. I love this series so much. Do you want me to read this? Okay, last book. Moment of truth. This is, okay, Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. I read this book back when it was on Ink Pop back in the olden days. It was called Angel Prophecy. And um, Wendy Higgins, um, I kind of know her from Ink Pop, so she was cool. I haven't read this book. Really. I mean, I read it back in the olden days and I kind of remember it, but not really. So if you'd like me to read Sweet Evil, go ahead and leave a comment below. Vote for whichever one you want me to read and I'm really excited about this exciting new... I, I keep saying exciting, exciting, exciting. So go ahead and vote below and only vote for one because if you vote for two, my brain is going to explode. So vote for your favorite so that I can figure out what I want to read. Those are the three books plus Sweet Evil. Um, pick your favorite. Tell me what you want me to read. And if you've read any of the books that I read this month, go ahead and leave a comment below too, because I want to talk about them. Because I don't have any friends who read, and you are all my friends who read. So I'm going to stop talking now, because this is just getting ridiculous. See you guys next time. Bye.